up everyone, welcome back to another episode of JY Throws. I just wanted to talk about a few things that I bring with me when I go to a track meet that you may have not thought about. Uh, just a couple little tips and trips for traveling and things that you want to think about. Um, so first things first, obviously, and most importantly, all my throwing stuff. I've got my backpack, throwing shoes. Number one, if you don't have those, like you can't compete. So that's the main thing that you want. Secondly, I've got my back brace, uh, something that I use, something that's like really important to me um, and important to myself competing that I also know I need to have. Ankle brace, another one on my list. I said just try to keep in mind things that you need to compete and those are the most important things. I always put those in my backpack <clears throat> and I bring my backpack with me. Um, that way if your bag gets lost or something, you you have your, your equipment that you need to compete. Got my hammer glove and uh, just a band for warming up. It doesn't take up much space, so I like to put it in there. Also, tape something that I use, tape something that I like to think about. Um, I don't want to rely on the trainers to have it, make sure that they have it, uh, so try to pack it myself. Other than that, important things for a carry-on bag that are really nice to have. I just have extra pair of underwear, put those in the carry-on bag, change of shorts, and just an extra t-shirt. Um, you never know if something's going to get spilt, if something's going to happen, that you end up needing those. Um, so it's always nice to have just an extra change of clothes, just never know. N nice to be safe and if you get stuck in a hotel or something, if a flight gets delayed or cancelled, then and you don't get your check bag back for whatever reason, then you've got at least a change of clothes. Uh, Carry-on bag, definitely very important. I'll also put my laptop and phone charger in here before I go. If you do happen to forget a phone charger, um, hitting up a like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or some kind of store along those lines is always great. They've got like super cheap phone chargers. Um, you can get phone chargers that are 10 feet long so you can charge it from anywhere. You can charge it from across your room. Um, so that's always a place to go if you ever need a replacement phone charger or something when you're on the road. Some nuts, I I've got some pistachios and some cashews. Um, something that if you're stuck, if you're stranded, then you uh, have a bit of a snack that you can snack on just to hold you over until you can get food if you're on a plane and dying or if you a flight gets delayed so you're rushed uh, running to your next flight then you've got something that you can at least eat to hold you over so you don't die and I mean throwing and all athletics is important to stay fed and uh, eat well so having those is really nice. Um, I've got a spare band for stretching, uh, warming up shoulders, things like that, just uh, any ankle rehab stuff. Important one. Um, I got this at Costco, it was a two pack. There's a, a big umbrella and a small little umbrella. Uh, it was like 20 bucks for both of them. Uh, really nice to have this little umbrella. I just put it in my bag and you never know when you're at a track meet, if it's raining, like, it's nice to have to cover yourself. But also if you happen to be in a competition, I'll set it on the ground, I'll hang a towel. I'll just like borrow a, a towel from the hotel typically once I get to a meet. But I'll hang a towel through the, uh, the metal bars on the bottom of the umbrella. So that's off the ground and that's uh, supported. I can use that to, if I've got implements I need to dry off, if I need to wipe off my hands, um, anything like that is super handy to have. Well, on that note, I've got a rain jacket, uh, not only for protecting you from the rain, but if it's a meat where it's not uh, not too hot, they're great to put on. Um, they're thick and plasticky and they keep you really warm. So it definitely keeps like all your body heat in, it feels like. Um, I'll get like sweaty, but it feels good. Just stay loose during the competition so you don't get cold um, and it's easier than putting on like a sweater or something it's just obviously zip up and they're pretty I got a pretty big one so it's big and uh, puffy and goes on nice the last thing that's great to prepare you for the rain is a garbage bag I just take one from my kitchen before I leave I'll bring a garbage bag with me that way if you're at the meet uh, I'll put a couple towels in it and I'll bring it with me to the meet if it's supposed to be bad weather having the garbage bag will keep your towels dry if you've got implements uh, you put your umbrella up you can put the towels and the implements inside the garbage bag so those don't get wet. It's just another layer of protection, something that's nice to have. It keeps your towels dry. I personally love having them. It's something that's small, it takes up no room, and it's uh, definitely convenient to have if you need it. Other than that, I'm about to pack up the rest of my bag. Obviously, I mean, if you've traveled before anywhere, it's however many days you're going, you need that many pairs of underwear. Um, I also pack like one or two extra just in case, you know, if you go swimming. If you uh, have a practice, you're getting real sweaty or something like that, it's nice to have a couple extra changes of clothes. All right, so the last couple things I wanted to mention are sweaters or long sleeve clothing. Always nice to have uh, some sort of long sleeve shirt or pants or sweatpants or whatever you want to stay warm just in case. Like you never know what the weather's gonna be like and you can check 
and you can see what the weather's going to be like. But uh, if it rains extra and it cools down a lot, sometimes it's nice to just have the extra layers of clothing just to stay warm and just in case, and it's better safe than sorry. One of the last things I bring, and they're kind of expensive, so I don't expect many people to have them, but if you can get access to it, uh, whether your school has it, if you can get it from them, or if uh, you can get it, I've got this. It's a DMS, like deep muscle stimulator. Um, I like to bring that with me. It's this hammer that vibrates, um, and you, I can use it uh, after sitting on a plane all day. Use it when I get to the hotel. I loosen up my hips, get my legs, uh, and it vibrates. It just brings blood flow back. Uh, feels good, and it's like a personal massage that you can give to yourself. Um, and I like to throw it in my check bag just because it's uh, it's easy. I got this hard case for it, um, so super convenient just to toss in my bag. Anyway guys, that does it for me for today. I just wanted to let you guys see what I do, some little tips and tricks that I have, some things that I think about when I'm packing a suitcase. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I, I don't know if I, I showed you anything new. If I did, um, great. And they're just like useful little things that I've experienced from traveling. I hope that you have the best day ever or the best night ever. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, take it easy.